everyone welcome back to another video and today I am going to be talking about Wattpad romance recommendation these three stories that I'm about to recommend y'all I'm telling y'all right now that is one of the I wouldn't say like best stories, but it is it is good stories I'm telling y'all it's really good it's chick flick slash bad boy in there slash high school but you know i usually don't read these type of books but it's been getting real good lately so i'm gonna tell you guys the first story the first story we have is called the player next door and it has 24.7 million reads and 896k votes and 62 parts and the person who wrote it is called baby in a corner <laughs> girl props to you i'm clapping your name is unique i don't know what made you think baby in the corner was you're gonna be your username but whatever let's read the description bad boy luke dawson is stuck living with clumsy nobody millie ripley for the summer when she ran over his most prized possession her world changed, she had to pay him back for every dime of damage and the favors he called in weren't just about money. She had to pay him back and everyone knows how payback is, eh? This is a love story. Hot boys like Luke Dawson never paid attention to nobodies like Millie. But here they were, two kids from the opposite ends of the chain set to turn the whole heresy upside down because no one can stop attraction. When opposite attract, attract, the spontaneous reaction can be a combustion or a downright explosion. With Luke, my money's on the explosion. We're talking public humiliation, roller coaster emotions, drama among cliques, prissy sisters, crazy mothers, and a whole lot of hotness from resident bad boy and neighbor Luke Dawson. This book, it is so good. I'm gonna just tell y'all. So I obviously read the description, but I'm gonna tell y'all from, cause I finished, I think there is a second book. Yes, there is a second book, haven't started because I'm reading two more books. So after I'm done reading those, I'm gonna go back. So Millie is going to a summer camp and she meets Luke Dawson there. And he is the hottest guy. Let me tell y'all, everybody in the freaking school, in the town, I'm I'm just everyone. Everyone is in love with this this boy. I don't understand it. Like it's it was really irritating me. I was like, why? So Millie, you know, she needs some money or whatever, and she goes to the summer camp. Anyways, Millie, you know, summer camps, they're supposed to be like room, like they roommate with other counselors. Well, nobody wanted to roommate with Millie. She literally has no friends. I'm telling y'all, like literally no friends. She has one friend. I'm going to get to, I'm going to tell y'all in a little bit about her. So, you know, when everybody didn't want to room with her, it left with Luke Dawson. So, turns out how they got roommates was because Luke, stupid, but put the same address as Millie's. So, everybody thought they were brother and sister, which turns out they weren't. So, then they get roommate with each other. Everybody's so pissed off with Millie because she's roommating with the hot guy. Basically, when they were about to leave to go to... Um, I think she was getting ready to leave the camp to go somewhere anyways when she backed up she ran over luke's computer and then now it's like she millie's supposed to pay luke back but that's all i'm gonna tell you but it's really good it's really cute oh and about her friend oh austin is luke's friend he's so cool i'm telling you he's really cool like you would love him he's like the best I, don't, I didn't even write the other girl's name. So Sierra is a new friend. I'm not going to get into her. She shows up in like the, towards the middle. I can't remember her friend. But anyways, you'll get to know her friend. She's She literally messed up. She's a, hor she's a horrible person. I'm just letting you know right now. She's a horrible person. Just letting y'all know right now. Like She seemed cool at first. But then when Millie went to summer camp, she didn't even text this girl at all what kind of best friend is that 
Oh, and uh, just to let y'all know, a thing is Millie's mom is kind of annoying and mean. Like the things she says and her sister is annoying. It's really cute. I really recommend this story. 100,000% recommend this story. There is a part two. It's called Player No More. And it's the sequel to Player Next Door. And it literally has a lot of reads y'all 5.71 million so it must be really good but it has a lot of parts i don't know what kind of drama is going to go in here but we'll see i'll see okay next story we have is called hopeless devoted so this story is completed it is completed y'all it's completed called Hopeless Devoted and it has 100, 113, 13.8 million reads and 431k votes and 56 parts and this book is still ongoing. And the person who wrote it is called Briella Diamond. I think, let me see. Last time she updated was September 7. So it's still literally ongoing right now. Let's read the description. Crystal Summers, a self-proclaimed expert in all things sarcastic and the human embodiment of destruction decisions, trying to get away from her troubled past. She moved with her mom to California to start a new life and potentially not screw this one up. Okay, I'm going to keep reading, but why did, I didn't they pick California all places. I don't know why they picked California, but all right, I mean, it's, it's cool. It's, it's a cool place. It's a cool place, but let me keep reading. There she quickly meets Scarlett and Savannah, her newfound partner in crime, and her life finally begins to feel normal again for the first time in years. But she just so happens to also collide with the school sexy notorious Ashton Monroe and his pack of can't say that. She loathes him and the feeling is mutual. But as the poets say, the line separating love and hate is a very thin one, and oftentimes when two people hate each other, it can grow into much more. Hopeless devotion, if you will. And this story is like really sad. She has nightmares all the time. And it just, it doesn't stop. But. And her nightmares like makes you want to cry. Like literally. Like she has dreams of her dad and her mom and her brother. She had to go to therapy. She had to do everything, but her mom is alcoholic. She drinks alcohol literally a lot. Even when they moved to California to get a new start, she's still drinking. I guess she, she can't get over it, but it really, it sucks. I feel so bad for her. Moves to California and she meets Scarlett and Savannah. They are so nice. I'm not gonna say they're mean. At all because while I'm still reading this book it they are just so nice I'm telling you they are just so nice like nicest people they're not mean like you know how all high school books are mean the freaking mean girls or their friends are mean they're not mean they're really good friends I was like wow finally there's a book and they're not mean so then she meets Ashton but he school bad boy kind of mean but like not really mean everybody knows who he is everybody knows who his friends are he's literally kind of mean to crystal a little bit like he's mean to crystal but i felt like he's mean for a reason because he probably has feelings for crystal there is going to be a love interest between ashton's friend and his name is eli but He's really cute. This story is literally it. Read it. You won't regret it. It's really cute. Just to let y'all know. That story we have. You guys probably have all read this story anyway. It's called Bitter Heart. I wasn't going to finish reading this because it didn't seem like it didn't seem good. Even though it has 8.24 million reads. It didn't seem good to me. I was like why should I keep reading? But you know what? 
the first three chapters of any book they're not going to be good so just keep just stick through it just stick through it it gets better this book did get better so it's called bitter heart and has 8.24 million reads and 288k votes and 61 parts and it is complete i'm still reading this book as it says down on the bottom it says continue reading i don't remember what chapter i'm on because i'm still reading like a whole bunch of other books but this book is really good um the name is called crystal and a bunch of numbers 7016 <laughs> um okay let me read the description for y'all katie fernando miller hot notorious and the most famous bad boy of Cresma high attention seekers flirt with him idiots fight with him the ones who are rewarded with a piece of sense stay away from him if you fight with him you know you'll lose soon hot tempered mysterious and those oh so hot looks that's enough for a girl to fall head over heels for him if only he cared to give a bleep about them not to forget he is also the youngest gangster leader in new york city i know most of y'all probably been to new york but let me tell y'all there are so many hot guys in suits i said i'm gonna just stay here just meet a billionaire and just go to his penthouse <laughs> i'm just kidding y'all this is not why bad okay let me finish in New York City with his cool ways and deadly secrets. Skylar Anderson, she's not a nerd or a cheerleader. All she cares about is her family, her best friend, chocolate cupcakes filled with heavenly Nutella in her sleep, really. She lives a normal and carefree life, trying her best not to flunk physics until she receives a letter in her mailbox. And that normal, carefree life goes right above the clouds. The promise is, he said as he leaned closer, if I kiss you, I don't think I did stuff. So Kid, as y'all know, he is a bad boy slash gangster leader and Skylar, she's not a nerd. She's she's normal. She's she's normal. So anyway, Skylar gets in trouble. She gets a little, you know, conflicted. Skylar gets a letter in the mailbox telling her to meet at this address to come to the park. With her stupid self. I don't understand why she would go to the park and meet. It, it was dumb of her. So she goes to the place where she's supposed to meet. Somebody sent her the letter. Then she gets there and she's like, okay, what's going on? Then the whole shootout started. And then guess who came in? Caden came and rescued her and was like, oh, what are you doing here and everything? And she was like, well, I got a letter. Somebody sent me a letter and told me to meet them there. And is Cadence's brother, not kind of brother, they're like step brothers, but something happened between them and they end up making their own gang. I don't know for what. I'm still reading, so I don't know why they did that in the first place. So he, I guess he's like her protector because somebody is like another gang is after her and like you know sent her there turns out i think it was blake i think it was the brother the stepbrother i think he's the one that sent skylar to go to to go where she needed to go it's good so far blake sorry blake seems kind of skeptical he seems sus a little bit because he tells Skylar to meet him at this abandoned place behind her house. Well, abandoned, abandoned house behind her house. So he seems kind of sus a little bit. Caden seems kind of sus because, first of all, he will not. He he didn't tell her about his game until like maybe like chapter ten or something like that. Literally, everyone in this story so far like seems a little sus, except for her friend Hannah she's a little quiet <laughs> I forgot about Hannah yeah so Hannah she's she's a little quiet she doesn't really talk Tyler's friend Alex he likes Hannah and he I'm telling y'all her best friend they're like best friends he seems kind of sus no jokes aside he's kind of sus but those stories like are literally ongoing I'm literally reading 
they're not ongoing. I think this one's good. Yeah, this one's complete. So Bitter Heart is complete. And I don't think there's a part two. Yeah, uh, there's no there's no part two. But she does have other good stories on here. I haven't read them yet. But that's the only that's the only story. There's no part two. Sorry to burst your bubbles. But yeah, that's that's all I'm gonna tell. I don't wanna give y'all the whole details, but read that story. Please read The Player Next Door because it is really good. I'm telling you, it's really good. I feel like The Player Next Door is better than Bitter Heart and Hopeless Devoted. I mean, they're still good, but you know you got to choose your favorite story out of the three. And I'm telling y'all, The Player Next Door is it. You will not regret it, okay? It's really cute, sad a little bit, but it's it's romantic. It's cute. And yeah, so I hope you guys like this video and I hope you guys like these three stories and comment down below which story that you are going to read because I'd love to hear you guys' opinions and what you think about it. I will definitely respond to you guys' comments, please. Thank you. Also, I will be leaving the links in the description. Because some of you guys have a hard time finding the books. You don't have to click on the links that I put on the bottom of the description. You can also follow me on my profile because all the stories are on my profile. So you can just go to my profile and find them right there. It's really easy. Instead of going to click on the link, I feel like that's way more work than when you just go to my profile and just click. Oh yeah, found the book. It's right here. It's really easy. So, hope you guys liked it, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!